John Popper on Hello. vocals and harmonica, and Chan Kinchela on guitar. How y'all doing? Two of the four members. We're great, and thank Excellent. you for coming by today. You know, there are a lot of groups that like to hide out in recording studios, but you all I love hate those festivals. Guys. Why do you love live so much? Well, we're not going to get to see much of the festival because we're hiding out in a recording studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you love it. a great opportunity to see a lot of other music, meet other musicians, hopefully sit in and learn a little something. I think the, uh, the Horde Festival, which we run, is definitely patterned after the Jazz Fest because you just get to see all of your favorite musicians just wandering to and from each stage, you know. And, I mean, the Gospel Tent is legendary, and uh, there's some stuff here that is just so can't get anywhere else in the it's world. It's also great to see the mix of different crowds for different groups that are coming to see everybody. Uh, it's just nice to see that kind of interaction and communication between a lot of different types of people. And you just released your sixth album, right? Uh, yes. Straight yes. on till morning. How important is it for you once you release an album, you go out and you... you it's actually released July 1st. Well, you try out all the new material, though, on the audience here? How, yes. And then hope it all works. Well, we actually wrote some of the stuff and tried it out before we went to the studio to record it. Um, because uh, a lot of times you have a song that has grown over years of playing it live. Sometimes it's better to not try it out and write it in the studio first. Now, when you've been successful with the sound, I guess it's it's tough because you want to try new things, but but you also want to keep your fans happy, don't you? Yes. Well, that's tricky because uh, a lot of the fans that have been supporting us for the last you know eight years aren't necessarily the biggest fans of our commercial stuff. So it's interesting to try and skirt those two. Life is fraught with balances. I think that balancing a career and a personal life, or balancing what personal uh, life. Exactly. Do you have one? We're working very hard on that. and, and we've Chan's bachelor party is actually tomorrow night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and we're invited. Absolutely. Bring the crew. Come on and film people getting completely blank-faced. Well, you're not actually playing here till next Thursday after your bachelor party. What are you doing in town now? Well, we're going to be doing the bachelor party, and then actually the morning after the bachelor party, we're, we're filming our video, which should be an interesting uh, extravaganza. God help us. Then we're actually brushing up, doing a little uh, rehearsals and enjoying the city for a while because we're rusty, David. Well, thank you so much for making time for us. We oh, appreciate absolutely. it. absolutely. Okay, join us tomorrow here on Showbiz Today as we continue our live coverage from the New Orleans Jazz Fest. Here's a hint of who's coming along. We're going to hear from author Ann Rice, from Corey Harris, and James Taylor. And it's going to be great, but it's going to be great right now. Bye-bye for now. Play us out, please. He's my favorite Corey, by the way. <laughs> train at sunrise I'm gonna have to run a red light said I'm trying to make a train at sunrise I'm gonna have to run a red light well I'm tagging with my Carolina you know the girl kept me up all night like And when my Carolina throw down, you know the girl know how to fight. No think we're gonna make it. There's nothing else that anyone could do. I don't think we're gonna make it. There's nothing more that anyone could say. Well, I almost got the feeling the Carolina liking it that way. Said I'm waiting on the train, man, to wait and take the path.